Okay, so just a quick video here showing how you can add a bit of life and a bit of movement to a hi-hat pattern. So I've just got a little drum loop going here. And on this channel, I've got a drum rack loaded in with a hi-hat sample playing on pad one. Okay, so I'll just solo the hi-hat. And I've just got to play it on every eighth note there. So the first thing I'm going to do to add a bit of life is just vary the different velocity hits. Okay, so that's just adding a bit of humanization to the pattern there. Next thing I'm going to do is, in the simpler device here, click on the volume tab here and turn the decay right down and the sustain right down. Then I'm going to go up here to my Max for Live devices, click on my Max MIDI effect, uh, select the LFO MIDI device and drag it in just before the simpler and I'm going to turn the rate down uh, to about there and then I'm going to turn the depth down uh, to about there and then I'm going to click on this map button here and I'm going to map the LFO device to the attack of the volume of the sample so now when I play it, we get this. Okay, so just a nice little bit of subtle movement there. So without and with. And the last thing I'm going to do is in the simpler device, I'm going to click on this LFO button here and I'm going to map this LFO to the pan and position of the sample. So I'm going to turn that up to maybe 25%. And if you've got headphones on or you're listening to some decent speakers, you'll be able to hear the movement subtly shift between the left and right channels there. Okay, so in the mix, So as you can hear, it's a very subtle effect, but it is something that will just add a little bit of interest to the listener's ears. And yeah, that's it. Uh, if you like the video, let us know. I'll make some more. Uh, if not, then I won't. All right, this has been C. Lopez. Peace.